just going to show you now how to start the beginning of solar dyeing. I'm going to and also then show you what pH does. We, I'm going to use purple carrots. My lovely friend Celine cut all these carrots up for me yesterday and I'm just going to put them in water after a while you'll see the color change and so this is just water I'm now going to put the same amount of carrots on, a few more carrots same amount here in this one and I'm going to put you can put um, cheap vinegar, white vinegar in there, but I like to keep the nature and it replenishes so I have squeezed um, some lemon juice. Actually my friend Celine did it all for me. So, so I'm putting this in. Now you can use citric acid if you like, if you've got this in your kitchen. Um, but I like, you know, lemon juice, citric acid, vinegar, it's all the same thing. So in this one, I'm going to put some lemon juice in here. So this will become acid-based. Now this one I would like to do alkaline, which is also, I make my own, but again, straight away, I put a ticket on here. Now, I make my own soda ash, alkaline, whatever you want to call it. I make my own and I'll show you how I do it. I've cleaned my wood stove or your barbecue if you need to clean the ash out. So, here is my stove I've cleaned out and there's the ash water. I've put water with the ash, then I've stirred it up, going to settle, and then what, when the water is settled, I make ash water, which is alkaline. So that's what I'll put in here. Actually, I had ordinary water in there. But I'll show you, if you haven't got wood stove or something, how to make it otherwise. But this is how I do it, because I've got a wood stove and I cook on it, as you can see over there. And put my purple carrots in. But if you haven't got that, and okay, you can also use calcium. So I can uh, put my water in here and simply use calcium plasterers, and uh, I, I, this one is calcium. Um, Hydrogen, uh, sorry, sorry, calcium hydroxide, but it's calcium, it's just what you can use in, in hardware stores. So I just put a bit of calcium in there, and that will also give me a colour. And I'll put carrots in. I'll show you with the um, my pH what the difference is. Here on your pH you can tell when the color comes out what pH it is. So we'll first put it in the water and this one is water. So, just a few seconds, and there, because I'm using rainwater, 
It's seven. It's neutral. Seven is neutral. So now I'll put some in the acid water. So it is six. So it's going down. Now I shall put one in the one in the um, ash water, which is alkaline, and this was the ash water. I must put that on. So let's have a look what ash water does. Ooh, look at that. 13. So it's high in alkaline. Some plants will love that. Others won't like it at all. Now I'll put it in the alkaline water. Not quite as purple as the other one. It's about number eight. So we will get two different colors of those. We will get four different colors eventually of the purple carrots. What I do now is you get the wet silk and put it in. Put it in your um, different ones. Just poke it in, and the sun will do all the all the dyeing for you. What I did was one spoon for the alkaline. This one for the water, and now this one for the acid, for the lemons. Then I fill it up with, is that the ash water? Yes, fill it up, a little bit more of the water, this was just ordinary water. Then to stop bugs growing and things, I scrape off the charcoal off the top, which it floats to the top, and put some in my jars. It sort of stops a bit of um, uh, things growing in there. It sort of seals it off a bit. Can you see how already things are slowly starting to change? But I will, we will go in a minute and show you something that's already been in there. Oh, I think I'll put some wool in here too. Maybe I should have done that beforehand. But it doesn't matter. I can just put more in. Now, to really keep it smelling nice and no bugs growing, you can put a eucalyptus solution or a little bit of Dettol or a little bit of some antiseptic and you just put a little bit in there. doesn't do anything much, but it just stops bacteria and things like that and makes it keep... Um, after a while that smell goes anyway, it just stops bugs. Then you absolutely close them off sometimes you can actually put some on top as well that's good i've got plenty of carrots so we may as well use them put some on top and after a while don't worry the um mm, bit full So you can put some more on top if you wish. Close them up. So there's my different 
the H's. I know now what they are and I've shown you how just vinegar and um, oh, something's missing there. Also, if you're using a lot of wool, if you put cream of tartar, which I'm sure you will all have in your kitchen if you are great cooks, and um, cream of tartar keeps wool soft. I uh, just want to explain this one. So you've let it settle, you've got your water, you've got your charcoal, but if you let it settle, settle in the sun, you can actually get soda ash from your own wood stove or your barbecue. And then you put that in a nice sealed plastic bag or if you don't plastic, put it in a nice glass bottle with a lid and you've got your soda ash. So rather than buy, buy, buy from wonderful art shops, you can do it all yourself. It's all around you. It's also very good to throw all this ash into your garden and you've got potash to grow vegetables. I would now like to walk outside and show you what I've just done here and I'll show you what happened in a month time, the colour it will give. See this one is already starting to colour and the silk in there will become a totally different colour than the water and the alkali. It takes in summer, hot weather, a week and the sun, the salt is doing all the work for you. But in winter it might take a month. So let's go outside and I'll show you what happened in a month. Here for about a month. So this is the colour of the silk in the acid, in the lemon juice one. And I'll be washing all that later on. This one is the water. It really is like the purple carrots. These are all the purple carrots, so one plant has given me now and here is the alkaline. It's kind of similar to the water, but when I wash it and dry it, there'll be a different purple. So the pH of your water, of whatever you put in, can change the colors. So from one carrot, three colors. And I would just like to show you, won't contaminate, just wash it a bit with my, and the, sorry, the orange bush over there, which I've picked some flowers off, I have put in here, you will always be able to recognize it. You can see the flowers there, and here is the color. And this was just in water. So when you put it in the water or the alkaline or this acid, you can and you see the color changing. This one was goldenrod. You think, hmm, I like that. It's been in there a week. I like the colour. You take it out. That's it. The sun's done all the dyeing for you. And if you think, hmm, a bit darker, you leave it another couple of weeks. And it depends very much, of course, on the weather. Um, I have numbered these and written in my little book exactly what's all in there. So, just because you don't see labels here doesn't mean to say I don't know what is in there because I have marked it all. So, this is sun dyeing and yesterday I washed some of them out and washed the bottles. This one was Coreopsis. 
the flowers of the Coreopsis and this one was just the roots of the matter plant. But I left it in a little bit too long. I should have taken it out perhaps in two weeks because there's the red. And here I've left it too long so the colour has changed. But it still harmonises. So I've just washed this with either pure soap, Lux or Velvet soap, pure soap. Because many different detergents and soaps have bleach and different things in it so therefore you're changing the pH and the colour changes so it must be pure soap and um, and pure water for rinsing then I dried it, now I'll iron it and see what I'll do with it I might need it next year or in six months but I'll show you what happens